Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is my guide to using the EQ3M equalizer in BandLab. The EQ3M equalizer is mainly used for instruments like guitar, but it can be used for MIDI instruments as well. Here, I have added a guitar track and recorded my electric guitar. Next, I'll tap on the first bar of the ruler to turn on the song looper. Then drag the end of the looper so I can repeat the sound I want to EQ. Double tap on the header icon for the guitar track. Near the bottom of the screen, tap on Effects. Tap on Create below the None icon. Then near the top right of the screen, tap on the Plus icon. Scroll through the tabs at the top of the screen and tap on the Tone tab. Then tap on EQ3M Equalizer. To the right of the word EQ3M is the Bypass Toggle. You can tap on it to turn the FX on or off. When the toggle is blue, the FX is on. Drag the dot on the line to the right of the word LOW to the left to reduce the low frequencies on the recorded sound on the track and to make the sound thinner. Drag the dot to the right to boost the low frequencies on the recorded sounds on the track and to make the sound fatter. Drag the dot on the line to the right of the word high to the left to reduce the high frequencies on the recorded sounds on the track and to make it sound flatter. Drag the dot to the right to boost the high frequencies on the recorded sound on the track and to make it sound sharper. Drag the dot on the line to the right of the word mid to the left to reduce the mid frequencies on the recorded sounds on the track and make it sound less focused. Drag the dot to the right to boost the mid frequencies on the recorded sounds on the track and to make it sound more focused. Drag the dot on the line to the right of the words mid sweep to the left or right to change the frequency of the dot on the line to the right of the word mid. This is used to change the character of the recorded sound on the track. It can be used to find the sweet spot in the sound or to make the sound stand out more clearly in the mix.
Here is a typical setup for a guitar. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.